Hey, what up, guys? I'm Jay. I'm Ben. And we're here doing another product review for Gemini Andy. We have done one before. Definitely. But there's a lot of new pieces on the table. For sure. Um, except for, I think, one that was in the last video. Yeah, the creepy crawler was definitely in that video. And that yeah. might be the only one other than maybe some of the pieces that we, we featured before, you know, our own collection. Yeah, I think so. I but, think uh, little Bino over here has been in a video. Everyone was asking about it. Yeah, most of these other ones are, are new to... To film here, so we thought and, we'd bring uh, them out here. And yeah, we we're also having forty percent off, so we thought it was exactly. kind of perfect timing. Forty percent off these pieces specifically. Um, we're trying to give these guys a home, so yeah, these guys are hungry. Out. They need a home, so and the sales going on for probably another I don't know another, another twelve or thirteen yeah. days or so. Exactly, a couple weeks. And there is a coupon. The coupon is the critters. Uh, it's just critter. It's just critter. Yeah. Okay, so it's just critter. I will put that info in the description, but let's just get into the product review. Let's do it, man. That's there's a lot of sick pieces on the table. For Not sure. going to be picking anything up. I've done one like this before. Uh, there's just too much on the table to yeah, pick up. So we'll, we'll just talk about it. We'll get to close ups then. and get sure. as many angles as possible. Well, let's get to uh, taking a dab. Yeah, go some. for it. Um, I'm I'll dab just, right here off this. I'll uh, start talking about uh, the critters. For the, sure. The critters are by Gemini Andy Glass. And uh, he is out of Oregon. Um, he makes, as you can see, he makes uh, animal-inspired uh, rigs. Basically from, like, frogs and geckos and uh, stuff from just the, from his part of town, pretty much. You know what I mean? Like, right. things he sees in the grasses and uh, in his wilderness. Because he lives in a place that's uh, not very populated. He's got a lot of land. Exactly. Um, kind of the backwoods of Eugene. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Exactly. And uh, he just he's inspired by his uh, location. For sure. And you this is basically that, what, yeah, what yeah, he's definitely. come up with. All these little critters, creatures. You know, they're different versions. They're yeah. pretty cool. I think know? critter is like the perfect name for them. <laughs> Um, cause creatures, when I hear creatures, I think something that doesn't really exist. More it's like, like sci-fi. Or fantasy. Yeah. Where this is like kind of just a, an imaginative version of something that's really existing. Right. That's um, true. And then the artists, different artists put their little flair into it as well. Yeah. So we have some there. collabs over here, um, with some different artists. So you can <coughs> see in those collabs, the different flares of style and, uh, Let's go over one right now. Let's start with a uh, calm, the calm collab. It's a little uh, polywog critter, birdie. It mixes the styles of uh, calm's birds with uh, Gemini and these critters, exactly. like that. Uh, basically, the classic version. Yeah, we'll get a close up on that the critter with long, long legs and big yeah. feet, and then the wing, the calm wings. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it definitely has both their styles in it. You know, clearly. Yeah, definitely. It's a pretty cool piece, definitely. And the colors on it are. Are pretty sick. I think I do believe it's a it's a, a red, red Elvis. Elvis over white. Yeah. yeah, layered colors. I always love when people, when artists stack the colors like that. Yeah, well, it gives it a whole different dimension of color. You know, when you're when you're stacking it, a lot of the the colors on on these pieces here are either custom dip colors or one color layered over another color. Uh, pretty pretty nice effect. I believe like this the D Rock piece in the front might have some. Color over color definitely does. I'm not sure exactly what color they. I think know, it's the it's, same. It's the slime. Is the red over slime? Maybe you know the way because of the way that one's. Put you know together. it could be, but I'm pretty sure it is red over white, and then that it's is hard. that a layered slime it's, or is that just like a milky slime? It's hard. It's, really it's hard, hard to, to say. say. You know, um, it's, it's definitely <laughs> definitely milky. That's for sure. You know, it's dope as hell. No doubt. You know, you've got again the classic critter design. And the OG critter design with D Rock's flare on it with his spray paint can, you know, where the mouthpiece is, and it's just dope as hell with the gas mask. Yeah, it's it's definitely that's a really cool. One. Sick ass piece. Even has sublime feet. They used a few different colors. Yeah, that's true. Sublime feet for sure. But I think the sickest collab is this one to the right of it, uh, right here. Yeah, it's a collab with Cowboy and Maddie White. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of mushroom millies, which are super cool, and uh, it's a custom. And I think those are all Cowboys millies too, right? Or I think are, they, are they Andy's are they Andy's yeah. millies? Yeah. Oh wow, nice. And uh, the color they used was actually, uh, I believe it was dipped in one of those big friggin' pots of them. Can't remember the name right now, but it has all the color that they mix in it. 
and they take it tubing they'll dip it in one color and then they dip it in another color to get that that perfect layer. right i think they did it at maddie white shop and he's got the crucibles so. is what you're sure talking about right one. yeah crucible that's yeah the one. exactly um and i'm pretty sure he's the one who actually did the, that dip the colors yeah and what it is is an aqua azul under a sublime, so sublime over aqua azul. And it gives it a sick effect because you can see that there's another yeah. like, layer of color underneath that. You hold that. it up yeah. to the light, you see that thickness, and you see the other color in there. Yeah. It gives it a really, really nice You'll effect. You'll get some nice close ups. Especially. So you guys can check it out for sure. Yeah, especially in the hands and the feet, you really yeah. can see it clearly. It's dope, and it's a good size piece, too. I mean, it's not a yeah. small little piece. It's, that it's, one is a king critter because it's a. Uh, uh, quite a bit bigger than my guy my guy's really small um so that's a king critter and even this guy back here that's all like i'm pretty sure that's amber purple amber purple the wings. some electric blue as accent yep um that one is also a king critter because it's pretty big compared to the normal ones yeah uh, this one actually is one of my favorite ones uh, I just think the flow of it, the horns and the wings and the colors, it just he calls He did an me. amazing job on it, yeah. no doubt. I mean, his, and that's a solo job by, yeah, by Andy right there. And it came out really good. The horn, his horn, you know, his horns and his claws just come out really, really nice. He's and his really use of shape. color, to be honest, the accent between, I wouldn't have thought to use electric blue with that amber purple, but oh, it looks right? so good. It does look good. It really looks good. Yeah, it's, it's hard to to really get a good look at it unless you're right up on it. Hopefully we can give you some close-ups yeah, that really give you a nice nice look at it because it's really baller. Definitely. Down. I think we'll get some good shots for you guys. Um, let's move on to these little slugs over here. Um, I think these guys, the first one he made was like a happy accident. Uh, he had uh, a body that didn't quite turn out the way he wanted and he was going to scrap it. And he got the idea that, you know what, this kind of looks like a slug almost. Right. And he turned it into a slug. And then the next one he did on purpose. I remember. Because he liked the idea. Yeah. yeah, they came out really cool. He added these uh, really detailed wings that have the texture on yeah, it. Yeah, the wings are cool. Yeah, I think it's very interesting, especially if you're into slugs. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And it's, again, it's his little little version of a critter, you know? Yeah. Um, the eyes and the overall feel of them are very similar to just the original OG critter. Um, everything just has its own twist on it. This is the slug version. This is the king right. winged version. Um, even this one in the middle, the outer limits critter, still has the same feel of a like a gecko or a frog. Um, but done totally different. I really like the Outer Limits guy. He's really stable on the table, the way he, the way he stands and the way he Definitely. looks at you, just looking like he's he's a mean, mean son yeah, of a Yeah, you know I'm saying? It's a really <laughs> cool critter. I mean, he's badass. It looks like a straight alien. Outer Limits is a good uh, name for the type of critter for that one. Yeah, for sure. Um, I could see uh, it's like something out of like Pitch Black the movie. For those of you who've seen that. He's um, he's one of my favorites. I just he's been hanging around so long. I just you know I'm kind of getting attached I know to him. He's actually, the, you he's know? the only one like from the last video that's stuck around. Yeah, it's forty percent off, guys. Kind of weird, you know. <laughs> it's yeah, sick. it's a baller piece, no doubt. You know, and that electric blue guy sitting up in the front with the yellow accent, yeah. the electric blue is popping. Last that thing very not, and, Put that yeah, thing out in the sun and see it shine. You know. Yeah, uh, the electric blue on that. I can't remember what company it came from. Uh, yeah. May have been Trotman, it may have been Glass Alchemy. I don't know. Cheers, guys. But it's a newer color. I remember talking to Andy about it, and he was telling me, "Oh, I got this new sick color, electric blue. You got to see it." And when he showed me pictures, I was definitely loving it. Like he said, in the sun, it just gleams like crazy. It is. You could see why they call it electric. We'll probably take it outside to try to get some really good shots of the color. That's where I think it really shines when you take it outside. What that one day that we took some pictures outside, mm -hmm. it was <coughs> it really shine. Right? Yeah, it was really nice. Very cool piece. Definitely. Um, <coughs> yeah, I love Gemini and Glass. You you could tell that we own two pieces. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, I got the E nail over there, the torch one over here. I mean, let's face it. For for what it is, the work is is almost perfect. It's incredible work. He does a great job. Yeah. They hit good. I mean, the prices without the forty percent <laughs> off, compared to what what's out there and the prices people are charging, it's already priced very well. I Definitely. Think. And forty percent off, uh, we're giving it away. <laughs> yeah, we're just hoping that it goes 
and we can get him making some more glass, you know. Exactly. Definitely. We want to put these into homes. We want people to really hold them and to be like, wow, these things are sick. Exactly. Have their friends see them and be like, yeah, they are sick, and he deserves the recognition. Exactly. So at 40% off, they're pretty much a steal. Go ahead and pick one up, guys. Yeah. All right. That's the video, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Yeah. I'm Jay. I'm Ben. Peace, guys.